All right, welcome back to another episode of Living the Farm Life. We're here at the Print Animal Nutrition Center again. We're here at our Aqua Research Lake, joined again by my friend Bob Lusk, fisheries biologist, Prina ambassador, and editor of Pond Boss Magazine. So we're going to talk some fish tales today, Ooh. and these are going to be true. We're not going <laughs> to exaggerate. So if you have property and you have water on it, you obviously want to grow big fish because you want to go down there and enjoy catching a trophy fish. Tell us how you do that. How do you get started? What are the things to think about if I want to grow big fish on my property? Well, first of all, you got to figure out where you are, what kind of pond you've got, what kind of fish you've got. Now, here we are late summer, so hopefully you started a feeding program. Now, the way that these fisheries things work is you start off with good, happy water. That's number one, the right kind of habitat, and then the food chain, and that's where this kind of stuff comes in. Is that feeding the food chain, feeding the bluegills or the minnows, that's what sets the table for your game fish to grow even larger. Now the backbone of that is not only do you need to feed the fish, but you also need to be planning to cull some fish. So if one of the goals is to grow trophy fish, you got to figure out which ones aren't and cull some of those. So you got to have a harvest plan as well. It's not just catch and release. It's catch, weigh and measure some if you want to get serious about it take those out that are not performing and then preserve the best of the best. If you do that, you're gonna grow some really nice fish. So we have been working closely with you since 2016 on this lake and we are on a plan to, on a regular basis, kind of see what the population looks like and then you have helped us with what you call a slotting rate. That's right. So what are we trying to do here? We're, we're trying to grow big largemouth bass here. So how do you determine what you take out what you harvest and what you put back in. What we tell people is for the first three years after newly stocking a pond, don't harvest any fish, that's catch and release. But in the third year, start weighing and measuring some fish and comparing those to what they should be. And you can get that information from purenimals.com, also from your local dealer or pondboss.com. You wanna be able to compare your fish to standard fish. And then you want to preserve the best ones. And what you'll ultimately see is this pond and your pond is gonna be like a garden. It's gonna produce fish, but at some point, some sizes of those fish are gonna level off, not grow as well, regardless of what you're doing feeding-wise, and those are the fish that you're gonna to wanna to cull. So if you'll cull those, it'll make room for the rest of the fish to have more space and more food, and they'll get much, much larger. And it makes for a good fish fry. Yes, it does. It's okay to eat a bass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so quality food is important and we work with you to help develop our Aquamax diets. That's right. Made out of real fish meal. Yes. Mimics uh, the natural food chain, I guess, yes. as best as you can. It's the very best nutrition out there. And not only that, you know, when, when you're feeding your fish, you're boosting them. You're gonna quadruple the productivity of your pond just by using a good feed like Aquamax brand of feeds. The other thing I love about Purina feeds is they come in different sizes for the different sizes of your fish. There's folks out there that are so serious about it that they'll buy the smaller pellets to feed the baby fish so the baby fish can get a little bit, little bit bigger and then eat the Aquamax MVP and the other higher end feeds that, that are designed for those size of fish. So obviously you want a quality feed and you, and you have to have a way to distribute that feed into the water. Yes. We have these Texas Hunter feeders here. We have three of them, they work great. They've got timers on them. You can put up the nine different feedings on them, adjust the uh, amount of feed that you put out. So it's really easy, you just fill it up and let the feeder do the work. And the, the thing about that is fish are like Pavlov's dogs. They're gonna to respond to consistency. The more consistent you are feeding your fish, the more consistent they're gonna to be to eat that fish food and grow and have more babies. All right. So if you have property at home, if you have a pond or a lake and you wanna grow trophy fish, Stop by your local Prina dealer. They're the experts. Yes. Go to prinamills.com to find out about our Aquamax product or go to pondboss.com to find out about maintaining your lake and having a good habitat to grow fish in. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for listening to our fish tales. You too can grow trophy fish on your lake. That's right. You sure can.